from Glue and Glitter and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make roasted butternut squash in your air fryer. This is a great holiday recipe because it's very easy to make. You can do some of the prep work in advance and because you use your air fryer to cook it, you can save some precious oven space and make room for all those other casseroles and veggie loaves and whatever else you're making for your holiday table. Before we get to the recipe, I want to talk to you a little bit about my air fryer. This is the Zen Chef Pro Double XL Air Fryer. Zen Chef is sponsoring this recipe, but even if they weren't, I would tell you that this is my favorite air fryer that I have ever owned. And I have owned a lot of air fryers. I've probably gone through about a dozen air fryers just trying to find one that does everything I want consistently and well. This air fryer does the trick. It is nice and big. It has plenty of room to feed my family of three plus leftovers for me and my husband the next day. It's also easy to clean, nice and quiet, and then it has my favorite feature of all, which is if you look here, there's a little S button, and that S stands for start, but it also stands for stop. So when the air fryer is done cooking, if something's finished a little early, you don't have to unplug it from the wall sending sparks flying. You can just turn it off like any other appliance. It's a small thing, but it makes a big difference. But enough about my air fryer. Let's talk about this roasted butternut squash, y'all. This recipe is flavorful, it's easy to make, and once you get over the hump of figuring out prepping the squash itself, it's really, really simple. So before I talk about prepping the squash, I'll tell you that you can often find pre-cut butternut squash at the grocery store along with, you know, where you find the other pre-cut vegetables. You can use that. You'll just want to cut the pieces down a bit smaller. They're usually not the small dice like you need for this recipe. Um, what you cannot do is substitute frozen butternut squash. I tried that in my testing process and it was, it was gross. It was very watery. It never really cooked to the texture I wanted and I definitely don't recommend it. So you can either use the pre-cut fresh squash or prepare a fresh squash from scratch. If you're gonna do that, the most important thing to do there are really two important things. First of all, make sure that you peel it thoroughly. Squash peel is a lot thicker than you might think it is, and um, you wanna keep peeling until the outside of the squash is that same vibrant orange color that the inside of a squash is. No pale yellow, no green lines, just keep peeling. That peel is tough, and in this recipe, it will not soften. You'll end up with hard pieces of squash. You want nice, tender brown pieces like this. The other thing about this recipe is that you do need to be mindful of the size that you're cutting. It calls for a one inch dice and that is not optional. You need nice small pieces so they'll cook through. Otherwise you're gonna end up with a burnt outside and a cooked inside. You want it tender on the inside and nice and caramelized on the outside. The last thing to know about this recipe is the advanced prep work. You can cut up the squash, either from a whole squash or cutting down pre-cut pieces, and you can cut up the onions and the mushrooms all in advance. And you can make the sauce in advance as well. And then on the day of, just toss them together, put it in your air fryer and cook. That way you can save yourself a little time and effort day of, get some stuff ready in advance. I think that pretty much covers it, so let's cut to the overhead and see how you make this recipe.